Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Violet if you're new here. Um, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I make a new video and upload it. My type of videos are like everyday motherhood lifestyle, I guess you can stay. You can say I like to make baby hauls, things that I like, like as our family um, has been my recent one. Um, I, I have done like a blog, but I haven't done much blogging ever since but i'm getting there i just started this channel just a couple months ago so i'm trying to get the hang of it what the schedule is like and stuff but i would really love if you guys would join us and also if you have friends or family that you would like to share um my channel with i would really appreciate that as well so without further ado let's get on to today's video so today i wanted to talk to you guys about the diaper bag that I chose to buy or purchase um, with my own money. This is a non-sponsored uh, video over the hat brand diaper bag. So I wish they would sponsor me. That'd be awesome. Hat brand if you're listening. I got my eyes on a couple of y'all stuff. So um, I really love my diaper bag. I will tell you some things that maybe I am not a huge fan of or I wish that it had or something. Um, but eventually I went with this bag because I think it's beautiful. It also looked very comfortable. I did do my research and I just, I don't own any like big name brand, fancy like Louis, Louis Vuittons or Gucci or any type of those like more expensive purses and stuff. Um, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I wouldn't mind, but I just, for me, spending the money on that, I'm just like, I don't have the money to splurge. So, but with this bag, it is a little bit pricier, but it was just one of these things that, you know, I'm a first time mom and this is the bag that I wanted because I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. And besides that, it looked, I liked the reviews on it. Um, I watched a lot of like YouTube videos when I was pregnant to try to see which bag I wanted and I was between this bag and then the other bag the first picked one I think it's called and um but I'll let you know why I chose this one uh, at the end of the day so and I am very happy with it um so let's go ahead and get on to it right so I chose this dusty rose one I think it's absolutely gorgeous I love the color of it I love um, the texture of it too. Um, it's very lightweight. So right now it doesn't have anything in it. Um, and I'll show you, this is what the back looks like. Um, these little gold, I love the little gold um, details on it. So it has like the zippers are gold too. And this little thing right here. So that's for you to carry it like an i guess old school diaper bag you know the ones where you just put it over your shoulder so it does have that it did come with it when i first um have it when I, when i first got it in the mail it came in this like bag so i guess you can i forgot what this is called get dust off bag so you don't get it all dirty when you want to put it away or store it so it just says keep it chic keep it chic mama sorry so that's what it looks like i think the bag again like i said it's absolutely gorgeous i bought the expandable patches is what i'm going to show you next so it comes in three and right now some of them are a little bit full so there's this little tiny one and again it has a really pretty hardware like the zippers and gold it matches the backpack i mean not the backpack but my diaper bag perfectly it's really pretty color and then i have this medium one i think it is and a large one so it comes in three so sorry this was a large one medium and a small and i'll show you what i pack on these and then uh this is the diaper changing pad well i think i got it wet last time not from her pee but i think i put it i set it on one of the changing table thingies um so i need to wash this because it's kind of dirty um but you fold it in three and i love that it has like the little 
logo in it too so that's cute and then i usually put this one in the back right here so i'll insert it and then it just closes with the little magnet so let me show you what i pack um on each one of these little bags i guess oh i wanted to mention so these like i said are purchased separately so that does bring the price more up but be on the lookout for sales because i know for the sales they usually include like these bags and the changing pad and this little pom-pom thing that you have that goes with it now the black one or the dusty rose one i think the pom-poms um they come in i call it pom-pom but it's like a furry ball in a beige color a blue like that ash blue that matches the other diaper bag and this pink so i got the pink one i think because i think they sold it as a set when i got it on sale so i got it for black friday um and it came with the diaper changing pad the three bags and this pom-pom so that's like the sale that they do i think i know they had one for mother's day and i think that's pretty much it that's the only time that i've seen it on sale so if you're pregnant now and you're interested in buying or um this diaper bag i would think maybe wait if you can for thanksgiving um or mother's day i don't know how far along you might be or if you want to switch diaper bags um then that would be the time to do it if you want to save some money so expandable packing pouches were th are $39. The pom pom keychain holder is like $14. The changing pad is also $14. So, like I said, it does go up a little bit if you're going to get all the accessories. Now, you don't have to, but I kind of like that it matches like the back, the diaper bag. So, all right, let's move on to what do I put in my diaper bag so let's start with the pouches so for this pouches i always like to put at least um two and i'm a first time mom so for some moms i think it might be a little extra that i'm going this extra step but you know she's my only kid right now i'm sure maybe when the second kid comes around one i don't think eleanor is gonna need as much as uh of these things and i think I'm, I don't need a bigger bag. I think it will be fine if I do have a second baby. And, but we'll see. Only time knows. So, but like I said, I am a first time mom. So maybe for some of you moms are like, psh, newbie, like you don't need all that stuff. But honestly, like it has come in handy. I think it also depends on where you're going and what you're going to be doing is what you're going to be putting in the backpack. But these are things that I try to carry every time I leave the house. So first things first, always have a pair of clothes for changing. So a baby, sometimes they have blowouts, sometimes they spit up, throw up, um, just get dirty. They'll see a mud puddle or something and just go for it. So they're not like us. We're like, oh my gosh, you know, um, they don't care. So, or sometimes, you know, there's a splash pad and you just want to let them have fun. So whatever the case is so i usually do two um clothing pairs of changes I, the words aren't coming to me right now guys so because it has been fourth of july i did um this old navy shirt i did her little blue daisy pants that i got from h m and then i did um her little sandals and i always try to pair i always try to put in like another pair of shoes and she is walking now and then the um and then i did like this romper thing a hair band all right guys so for this part of the video i decided to do a voiceover so i can show you what i'm packing and explain as i'm packing them um so the first thing is that diaper pad so i put it in the back like i told you guys with that magnetic holder and then um i am packing the little bag inside of eleanor's bag where i have her extra um change of clothes and then i have snacks not snacks are must have so i usually have some fruity ones and i also have some veggie ones 
New thing for us is this EpiPen. My daughter is allergic to milk and eggs, so her specialist suggested we have one just in case of an emergency. Then we have the water wipes. They have been working phenomenal for us. We still love them. Those are the only wipes she was able to use. And then we have the boogie wipes as well as the munchkin pacifier ones. So the pacifier wipes we don't use as much. We usually just put our passy under the water and wash it that way. Then we have the diapers. They are must-haves as well. And usually I like to pack four to six and I'm trying out the Honest brand and Hello Bello brand and I also like to throw in a swim one just in case. Now this is a baby spatula and that is the ointment. So the spatula is used, those are some extra ones that I have, but the spatula is used instead of your fingers to apply the ointment in case your baby has a rash. That's the SPF that I like to use for Eleanor and I like to have a first aid kit in handy just in case. It contains band-aids and stuff like that. This is the SPF for me just in case we go to the park or something. I usually like the Kula brand. I, it was one of my favorites in my June favorites video but I um, don't know where it is right now. And that was the hand sanitizer and this is the last bit of formula that I'm using. I'm also trying to look into toddler formula since she cannot have regular milk. And then I also have this Cheerios or like snack dispenser container from Munchkin. So I'll try to link as many things below. And then this is a the strap thing that you can clip on to both ends so you can use the diaper bag as a shoulder bag or like put it over your shoulder like an old school bag just in case you don't want to use it as a backpack also like to put in two um like of the baby pouches and just because if you know we're waiting or it's a long trip she'll have something to eat and it'll keep her belly full for the meantime the bib I cannot link because her grandma made it. This is a sun hat, but I'll try to link something similar if I can't find the exact same one for her hat as well. These are the diaper bags, like you can throw them, disposable bags, those are the refills. Just in case you're at somebody's house and they, your kid has a stinky diaper and you know you want to be a nice guest and not stink up their trash <laughs> and then I use the Kamutomo bottles and also the Nook I think these are the Nook Minnie Mouse one so because we're trying to transition her out of baby bottles and into just a sippy cup that's her favorite teether and then the Morocco was like a must-have when she was a baby we could not leave the house without it because that kept her entertained and then that is her spoon, just in case we need it. I should probably put it in a Ziploc bag, but oh well. This is her one of her favorite books at the moment, and it's the Bubbles Bubbles book from Sesame Street. I actually found it at the dollar store, which it was nice. So make sure you check out your dollar store or the Dollar Tree um, section, the book section for babies. But I think that is it, guys. So let's get on to it. Now you saw everything that I packed there, so I'm not going to lie, after I put everything in there, it does get pretty heavy. Um, the toys though, I usually just have them so she can play in the car, like if she starts getting fussy or something. Um, and her little, like, chewing little horse teether that she likes. Now I'm going to show you two other things that sometimes I pack. Not necessarily in her diaper bag, but we do try to keep it in hand and handy with us. And that's gonna be this newbie mat that I got. So I really like this mat because it's not, it's like one of those bib things, but she doesn't wear it as a bib. So you pretty much place it on the table. And then any food that like falls out usually or hopefully it'll fall in here. So I really like that. And I love that it's very flexible and you can just fold it like that. And you can, it came like in a little tube thing. So I'll show you or I'll insert the link down below as well. 
And the other thing that I like is her little fan. This has come in handy a lot, especially during the summer right now. We went to the zoo and everybody was like, oh my God, where did you get that fan? We need one. Got it on Amazon. It's been awesome. So I think that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If if there's anything that's like a must-have for you or something that you suggest that I should also have in handy or maybe you think that's a lot, <laughs> then comment down below and let me know what your mama hacks are and I hope you really enjoyed this video for those new moms. Congratulations and I hope this video was a bit helpful for you guys too. Um, trust me, I don't think you need as much whenever they are smaller, but now that she's a toddler, those snacks come in handy. <laughs> so anyways, I truly do hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a long time coming. I, I, I've always been super excited to make this. And um, I hope to see you guys again on my new video or my next one. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Until next time, bye.